let's take a look at the derivative of trig functions. If y is equal to sine of x, then the derivative is cosine of x. Or you can write d dx of sine x is cosine of x. Uh, to refresh your memory, some of the um, output values for sine and cosine at different angles are defined here for you. If y is equal to, for example, cosine of x, then the derivative is defined as negative sine x. Or the dx of cosine x is minus sine x. So these two are not they're really complicated to calculate, to compute. When it comes to tangent of x, remember, tangent is defined as sine over cosine. Sine x divided by cosine of x. So, well, here you can apply the quotient rule that you learned before. If you have f divided by g, the derivative becomes f prime g minus f g prime divided by g squared. Your f is sine, your g is cosine. So follow the formula, the derivative of y or the derivative of tangent of x is the derivative of sine x over cosine x. So we already know what the derivative of sine is. We multiply that by cosine minus uh, sine x times the derivative of cosine x. And everything is divided by cosine to the second power. Y prime is equal to cosine x times cosine x minus sine x. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this guy becomes plus, plus sine x divided by cosine to the power, the second power of x. So as you can see, y prime is cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x divided by cosine squared of x. Guys, don't cancel out cosine and cosine. They're connected together by addition. You are not allowed to cancel out cosine and cosine. First, you have to simplify your numerator, but this is just a trig identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared is always one. One divided by cosine squared of x. But remember that. One divided by cosine x was defined as secant x. So this guy is equal to one over, um, just write this down. In algebra form, one over cosine x times one over cosine x or secant x times secant x or secant squared of x. <laughs>